morning folks, uh, San Jacinto Trail Report from up here at San Jacinto Peak. My descending snowshoe tracks from the peak just there behind me. Um, it is Tuesday the 19th of March 2024, uh, mid-morning. And as you can see, I've found my way into the cloud. The cloud base is at about 10,200. Um, typically... It's a reverse that the clouds are up to about eight or nine thousand, then you can get into the sun above it. Uh, I was in the sun lower down earlier this morning, and then I found my way up into the cloud. So this is actually um, the same storm system as the one that came through on 14th, 15th. It's very, I was checking some National Weather Service information yesterday, very unusual. We've got a low pressure that's stalled out over western Arizona, southern Nevada, southern California for this is day six now and it's just rotating anti-clockwise round and round and round. Um, bulk of the precipitation was on the 14th, 15th, that was, what was that, Thursday, Friday. But yesterday we had quite a few storms um, come through, minor storms, um, and there's about a, a dusting down to about 6,800 uh, feet. And I measured a, an inch from about just below Saddle Junction up, so about 7,500 feet up. And then up here at the peak was about two inches. It almost all fell as graupel. It was sort of in thunderstorms. Graupel's the snow equivalent of hail. Um, so it's quite nice stuff to hike through, nice stuff to snowshoe through. Unfortunately, it's very light um, and in conjunction with the light powder and there were very strong winds associated with some of those little storms that came through. So I found, although the track up Devil's Slide Trail and then up to about 9,000 feet was still largely intact, um, the tracks above 9,000 feet have all been functionally obliterated. So I had to break trail again. Um, for day hikers, I kind of call these five tool conditions. So that's spikes, crampons, snowshoes, ice axe, and poles. Um, all of which on a dry hike in the summer, I, I none of those I'd be carrying up here. So I didn't know exactly what to expect, so I've got all five with me. Um, I was able to bare boot to about 9,000 and then switch to snowshoes. I post hold for a little while, but it was it was not particularly fun. Obviously I realise for PCT hikers that's not practical. Um, so talking of PCT hikers, um, I got a very useful message from an Austrian couple late last night who went through on Fuller Ridge in the past couple of days. Um, they confirmed they said nice things about the trail report they confirmed what the trail report had been saying about how there was very hard ice underneath the fresh powder they had crampons and ice axe and critically they um, are very experienced or experienced in mountain conditions obviously living in Austria hiking in the Alps so um, that said, it still took them to get from mile 179 through to about 200, took two days. So you're looking at, even with the right equipment and good skills for those conditions, you still might be looking at a mile an hour at best. Um, so um, I've also heard, I think at this point, it's kind of spread up and down the grapevine about a fall on Apache Peak a couple of days ago. Um, and various people I've spoken to had spoken to the person in question. Um, I gather they lost their ice axe. I'm not sure if they had a leash for the ice axe, but anyway. Um, so advice that thinking about coming off at alternates like Phobes 166 or Spitler at 168.5. Um, there is, and then again, to avoid Fuller Ridge, um, which is probably the best move for the majority of people. Um, I would guess 95% of PCT hikers do not have alpine mountain hiking experience and are probably not willing to carry ice axe and crampons. Um, so um, the Black Mountain alternate is the, the way to go there. And that's information on that available online or from the various um, 
places in town. Um, like I say, for day hikers, um, conditions are such that you could carry multiple things, sort of depends what route you're doing. Um, most folks might get away with spikes and snowshoes in combination or perhaps spikes and crampons in combination. Um, this stalled storm system is supposed to move out of the way today, slide off to the east and then um, we actually have very warm classic Southern California. We can go from worrying about hard ice to getting you know soft warm snow. We're supposed to have above average temperatures for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then the next minor storm systems tentatively coming in 23rd, 24th, 25th. Um, as with almost all the storm systems this winter, not expecting anything too dramatic. Um, I think currently calling for sort of two to six inches up here in the high country um, and perhaps a dusting as low as Idlewild, but um, they've forecasters have definitely had some challenges with all these small storms this year. So. Um, really until they get here it's tough to know exactly what's going to happen. Um, as always a lot more photos and a lot more info about conditions on the on the website that's San Jacinto Trail Report sanjackjohn.com s-a-n-j-a-c-j-o-n.com and safe hiking everyone. <laughs>